In this video, I'll walk you through the export options in the script storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. The reason why I'm doing this video is that the script storyboard has changed the way we export and publish our projects in the script. In the script classic, we had the option to share where you'd actually uh, export your videos, audio, subtitles, transcripts, timelines, etc. And then we also had the button to publish uh, where you'd publish a web page, etc. to embed it onto your website and so on and so forth. So that is out of the way. So if it's your first time using Descript, there was a Descript classic. But if you, it's your first time using Descript Storyboard, then this is how to export video, audio, subtitles, etc. There's this button right here on the right. You can press on Control Shift E to pull up the export options. And if you click on that, uh, depending on uh, if you had clicked on one of these options last, you land or where you land. So make sure you click on it and we're in the export option. And from this option, if you have a video going on here, the default option will be video. But if you click on this drop down, you'll see that you can export video, audio, GIF, timeline. And these are timelines for uh, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, etc. Transcript or subtitles. Now, depends on what you want. But for now, let's assume you wanted to export uh, a video. You can also click on the drop down for advanced settings. Click on that and you'll have the option to choose current composition. If I click on the drop down, uh, you also have a current selection, markers, line breaks, all compositions. Really depends on what you're looking for. You also have the option to set the resolution. And from the drop down, you have 480p, 720, 1080p, 1440 or 4K. And then you have the option to set the quality low, medium, high, and then we have some sliders here or settings here. You can click on that to uh, check on the quality. Uh, this is uh, mostly for the audio. You want two channels, sample rate of uh, 48,000 hertz, audio bitrate of 128 kilobytes uh, kbps, and normalized volume at negative uh, 24 LUFS. But you can also do off, peak, etc. whatever you want to do with that. So that is where you actually change the audio settings before you export. And then you can also include metadata. It's on by default. You can turn it off. But if you turn it on, you have the option to change some few settings here. You can show the title, show the episode title, uh, a description here. You can write that up. I feel some of these options are a little bit kind of too small for somebody to even understand what they're doing. And if you'd like to include markers as chapters, you can do that now. That's the option for the video. The next option I'd like to do is for something like subtitles. Let's go for exporting subtitles in the script storyboard. And you have two formats, subrip titles or subrip subtitles dot SRT. And you also have the video text titles or web video text tracks, WVTT uh, or dot VTT subtitles. Uh, you can use that and you have the option to show the speakers really awesome if you want to do that maximum characters per line by default is usually at 42 but i always prefer to have it at 37 uh, that uh, that's good for readability and then maximum lines per card i love to go with two just uh, make it easy so that people can easily read but then when you're satisfied you can click on export and choose your settings where you want uh, to actually save so basically that's more or less like what the different options are involved in here as for the transcript you have different formats to export to microsoft word hypertext markup language markdown plain text rich format uh, rich text format so uh, you can include composition name include markers include ignored text include speaker labels speaker labels on every paragraph time codes you can include that you can set the interval paragraph breaks speaker labels markers you can do some offset etc really depends on what you're looking at but this is a ton of like information right here that i feel is really awesome uh in a way i feel that this should be coming out somewhere here like a pop-up window uh, to fill up this particular section so that you clearly see what you're doing because having it on the side especially with these uh, settings here sometimes that is, doesn't really make sense now if you wanted to publish your project, let's say you want to publish it on the web for people to view, you'll need to click on the publish option. 
and from this uh, you can click on uh, web link YouTube all the way to Wistia so you can publish to all these different options including headliner if you wanted to use the uh, audiogram features in headliner so that would really work well and if you choose like a web link you can click on the drop down to see the advanced settings that are available uh, if you want to show this transcript allow comments show the other custom branding and also you can add uh, an image uh, maybe that is going to be displayed by default then uh, you can replace that or use the current frame and then who can access your files so anyone with a link can access you can click on that index by search engines project access is required to view so what are we looking at here is the new uh, export and publish options in the script storyboard they are a little bit hidden so you may be a little bit confused but that is how to find them for the video you look at it and when you click on the drop down video audio gif timeline transcript subtitles and when uh, once you're done with your selection edc always remember to hit the export tab and navigate to the folder where you want to save your file and do the needful simply put that is how you can export and publish or a basic walkthrough of the export and publish options in Descript Storyboard. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Go create something awesome in Descript Storyboard. Thanks for watching.